Well, uh, I'm, I'm going to tee up a more specific question that we've Thank been you. working on here okay. with the chairman's good help. But, um, and uh, Mr. Uh, Hagee, I'm, I'm interested in the Nature Conservancy's view on this in particular. It's something I'm actually I'm working on with Senator Kelly right now as we speak. But this involves indigenous lands, tribal native lands in Alaska. Um, in 1971, Congress passed what's called the Alaska Native Claims Settlement Act, ANCSA. Um, I won't go into all the background, but it's the largest indigenous land claims settlement probably in the world, certainly in America. 44 million acres of land in Alaska went to the native people to manage and own, actually in fee simple. It's not like the lower 48 reservation system. So very innovative helps with, um, you know, development of these communities. Unfortunately, Congress gave a lot of this land, 44 million acres, I think that's bigger than almost every state in the country. Um, a lot of the land was contaminated, like severely contaminated. So here you go, native people, here's your land, settlement, oh, by the way, it's completely contaminated. And believe it or not, for years, the EPA under CERCLA was gonna hold these native communities and native corporations liable for the pollution. Like, we're going to sue you to, to clean up the land that we gave you that was polluted. Okay, now that was absurd. It took a bill, Senator Carper and I got passed in 2017 to say, no, come on, feds, don't be stupid. The native people are not liable for cleaning up land, contaminated lands that the feds gave them contaminated. Okay, so we fixed that. Only took several years, but I really appreciate the chairman weighing in on my amendment, a co-sponsor, he said it was writing this wrong. So, so here's the next idea. You, we, we all care a lot about mitigation banking, right? My state has 65% of all wetlands in America. So these are big issues for us. Um, but we are trying to work with the core and this committee to get legislation that would say, um, Okay, when you do mitigation banking, right, on wetlands, if you're doing that and let's say you actually are mitigating in terms of a cleanup of a previously contaminated land in Alaska, that that would count with the core. It's complicated, but it's an innovative idea because the idea that the feds are gonna come to Alaska and clean up all this contaminated land that they gave the native people, it's probably never going to happen because it's literally in the tens of billions, if not hundreds of billions of dollars. So it's not going to happen. We got to get some cleanup from the feds. But this is an innovative approach. So Senator Kelly and I are looking to introduce legislation that would have that provision and a second provision championed by Senator Kelly to establish a pilot program to allow the Army Corps to enter PPAs with Indian tribes to allow them to provide full project management control for the construction of eligible projects. So I know you guys at the Nature Conservancy, Mr. Hage, are good experts on these kind of mitigation banks, but what do you think of an idea like that that helps native indigenous people clean up their lands, but maybe from a source that involves a mitigation bank not from the traditional way saying the feds are gonna clean up, which they should have, they should have never given the lands 44 million acres, half it was polluted. Mm -hmm. But what do you think of that? Thank you, Senator. And I know it's, I don't, you don't have the details, but in general, you guys do this a lot, and so I'm curious. We wanna, we wanna try and get this over the goal line in the committee, and the chairman's already worked with us, his staff's working on it. It's a big innovative idea that mm -hmm. we think is really important and timely. Well, thank you, Senator, for the question, and, and I certainly appreciate your leadership on fighting on behalf of your constituents. Um, I know from our, our chapter up in Alaska that, that we have been in contact with um, folks on this kind of topic, the Brownfields team at yeah. the, um, the Alaska Native Tribal Health Consortium, I believe. Yeah. Um, so we are, we are definitely looking to build a partnership there for remediation of, the, of these kind of lands, and so something we're looking into very seriously. 
Um, and of course, the Nature Conservancy has a lot of experience with mitigation banking yeah. nationally, uh, setting up banks and, and running banks in different states. So it's, it's, a, it's an approach that we embrace quite strongly as a way to get um, innovative financing approaches to the kind of conservation work we need to get done um, where there's not an obvious source of funding elsewise. So it's a, it's a concept uh, I would love to look at if, if we're able to share the details and, and report back to you. Good. Well, well, we'll do that as a part of this committee's follow-up, but we're working through the committee here, staff, Senator Kelly and I, and our bipartisan bill on these innovative issues that try to help tribal indigenous communities that, you know, need help. And a lot of them are unfortunately on lands that are polluted, and then they can't, um, you know, undertake economic development and other things like that. So we'd welcome your interest and eventually support if you want to take a look at the language we're working on with the staff of this committee. So thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's a big issue that hopefully we can resolve.